All right. So good evening, everybody from the Philippines. Good morning, dito sa amin. And maaga lalo na kay Ate Mes from Texas. It's still very early there. And uh, dito sa New Jersey, it's the same time as in the Philippines. Pero umaga po dito, gabi sa inyo. How to create a, a successful invite. All right, so I would say congratulations. You are now a Life Vantage distributor, right? So the first things that you have to do is work on your database. Ito po, you will find that in your launch guide. And part of that is working on your database. So you start by getting your phone, write all the names in your contacts, no? And um, of course, you start from A to Z, right? Then get to the memory jogger. We have one there, which is also in your launch guide. And add into your list the people in the bank, it's a gym, it's a grocery, you know. You frequently shop, yung hairdresser mo, yung high school friends mo, college, etc. So then segregate nyo. Segregate them into warm market. No, warm market are the people that you know. Those are the family, your friends, relatives, neighbors. And that are close to you. Then you have the chicken list. Ito yung mga tao na you admire, right? Ito yung mga tao you look up to also. So this could be your old boss or some of your successful acquaintances in church. And uh, third will be your cold market. So ito yung people you don't know. These are people you don't know. People could you could be working with in the gym. Yung mga nasa bangko nga, mga waiters no, na that will serve you, mga managers ng hotel kung saan kayo mag stay right? So, from there, you choose the first 10 people you want to share this with. So, the next step will be invite them to see what you have, sharing the information, right? So, find out first why you're sharing. So, the first thing that you have to do is ask questions, right? So, ito, yung ac acronym niya will be FORD, F-O-R-D. So, F stands for family. Ask about the person that you're connecting to, his family, his parents, buhay pa ba, his wife, his children, their ages, you know, anything that's about their family. And then O will stand for occupation, right? What does he do? Anong ginagawa ng asawa niya? Yung kanyang mga anak, di ba? Is there, some, is there someone in the medical field in the family? Okay? Some people are happy with their job. Doesn't mean, but they don't earn much, right? You will find it out when you ask them. Some people make a lot of money, but has no time for their family. So, you will also find that out by asking questions, right? R is for recreation. So, what does he do besides work? Hobbies. Their family interests. Do I have friends that's into... I do have friends that's into biking. Meron akong kaibigan na nag-Iron Man. Meron akong kaibigan nagda-dragon boat. So, meron akong kaibigan na mahilig mag-travel. So, those are the things that, you know, you get yourself familiar with. Tapos, D will be the dreams. So, ito yung dreams, you could say, or goals ng isang tao, like a mom, no, who has a four-month-old baby, of course, they want to stay home, right? Especially here in the U.S., no, wala kaming kasama dito sa bahay. So, most of the time, they bring their, their kids, their babies to daycare. So, try to find that out also, right? Na, ano ba yung gusto ng nanay? Uh, gusto niya bang uh, iwanan yung anak niya or does she, is she dreaming of uh, staying at home and doing something instead? Putting up a business, a uh, 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 dot-com business or anything that she can do just to be able to stay home? O kaya yung dad no, who wants to retire and start um, a business of his own? The most important thing here for me is be a very, very good listener. Listen closely to what people are saying and then try to write them down, right? This will be your reason why you're sharing with them because there is a need or a problem you're offering a solution to, right? Kagaya ko nga rin nga nung malaman mo yung tao na yung uh, dad na gusto na mag-retire, 
you know, and start a business. So, dyan mo siya, i, i, um, iti-tailor mo yung invitation mo according to what you've found out about them. Okay. So, when you're inviting someone to take a look at your information, mention the reason why. You know, it justifies your invite. Remember that walls will go down when people see or people will sense that you're going to sell them something, right? So, pag na, narinig niya nila na may mga sales pitch ka na dyan, yung mga tao parang, oops, oops, ayoko na nito kasi bebentahan ako, right? Pero yung prospects, become, they become more open when you demonstrate a caring caring and of service intention, right? So, show a sincere desire to help. Kaya nga importante yung nagtatanong tayo. So, here also, you have to take yourself out of the equation. You know, remember that your intention is not to target them into signing up. You know, your main intention is to get their attention or create curiosity that would lead to watching a tool, no? Could be a video or a ABC primetime investigative report or an actual presentation. Yung presentation na to, pwedeng one-on-one, -on -one, pwedeng group, pwedeng Zoom, pwedeng webinar, you know, pwedeng actual event, no? What's important is you are offering them a solution to their problem. Remember, when you talk to them, you listen. So you found out what their uh, needs are, what their goals are, you know. This could all lead to even, you know, one day their purpose, just like mine, no? the reason why I'm doing this. So, ayun, there will be different means of inviting your press prospects, like, like uh, a phone call, a simple phone call, right? Pwedeng face-to-face, -face, pwedeng via text, messenger, or email. And where do you invite your prospects? Pwedeng coffee meet, no? Let's go out and have coffee, right? Pwedeng you're inviting them to an event. Tapos webinar at Zoom. Alright, let's take for example. Ito, may mga examples ako dito. In a group chat, example ko, no? Like, uh, I have a friend, um, high school friend ko. We have a group chat. And I singled out a person, no? Later, uh, she will be here, si Gigi, no? Because she was my best friend that I have not seen for 10, 30 years. So I want to connect and find out what her life is, is right now. So I texted her first. I go, Gigi, I want to share with you something. Will you be free next week? All right. So will weekday be good or weekend? She told me she was very busy, most especially during weekdays. So will Saturday morning after or uh, morning or afternoon work for you? So nag text ako ulit. So sabi niya, she told me she was very busy, busy, no? So I thought na she was shying away from me. But um, I said, di bale, I will still text her, no? So nung ano, tinext ko siya na sabi ko, G, let's, let's get together. I just wanted to talk to you. So finally, she gave me a, a, a time and day, right? So we connected. And then from there, uh, that was a phone call. Okay, so I, lo I let her talk for almost one hour. So she was just talking about her life. And at the same time, I was asking her questions, right? So, you know, I found out a lot of things about her, right? I was able to establish kung why will I share this with her? Because sometimes, you know, it might not be the right time to share it with that person or it could be the right time to share with that person. So it's mostly your decision also. It's it's actually how you you communicate with her, right? So ang nangyari sa amin is, so she gave me the time, right? And kwento nga siya ng kwento sa buhay niya. So I found out certain things. Like I found out that she's a single mom, no? She's a nurse for so many years. Uh, and then mataas na yung position niya dun sa hospital. And then she also have a 12-year-old son. That was what I found out the most. The most that stuck to me was she was taking 12, no, uh, 11 medications. So she was my age. So na concern ako, no, kasi ako nga, I went through um, 
uh, breast cancer. Pero I wasn't taking that much medication. Actually, I wasn't taking any drugs, no prescription drugs. I was just um, I was just taking our products. So, but you know, I did not take advantage of the time that we were talking to share what I needed to share to her. Because I don't want her to feel that the reason why I connected with her was solely, you know, was just solely to, to let her know that there's something like, like Vantage, there's something like Pro Tandem and all that. So at the end, you know, after one hour that we, call, we talk, she said, Oh, ano nga paling sasabihin mo sa akin? So I told her, never mind, we'll, we'll have a second, uh, you know, conversation, mag-usap tayo ulit, and then, um, you know, we'll go from there. So she gave me another time, right? So, ngayon, between the time na mag-meet kami, uh, mag mag-uusap kami, I, uh, I texted her. So ito nga yung sabi ko here. So, I considered her in that category of people with health issues, no? So, ito yung text ko sa kanya before I talk to her. I said, Hi Gigi, I've been thinking about what you told me the other day. That you were taking 11 medications. It concerns me knowing that you're a single mom and has, has a 12-year-old son. There's a 10-minute ABC investigative report that you need to watch. That is, you need to watch. I'm not saying that I want you to watch. Okay, that's that. There's a difference. It might. This might be a solution to your health issues. You will definitely be amazed. Will you be free on Saturday to do a Zoom so you can better understand what it's about? So it's just like that, right? Uh, I just made it simple. I did not mention about Life Vantage. I did not mention about Pro Tandem. I did not mention Activator or anything like that. So. Because I was thinking, if I told her all those things, no, all those information, the first thing she might do is, because she's a nurse, no, she will try to look it up. And I will not have the chance to show what I have to show or show, sh share with her the information that I wanted to share with her. So, ngayon, so we were able to connect again, right? So, yung second phone call namin, I still let her talk at the time, no? So, ngayon, mas, mas marami akong nalaman sa kanya. And at, at that um, instance also, she said that, Okay, Beth, can you share something about yourself? Okay, so I was able to share with her my story. Okay, so it took time. It took time for us to really, for me, no? For me to really be able to share with her. But what happened is I, I shared my story and then um, she listened and then I asked her for a Zoom meeting uh, so that we can do a presentation. I called my upline, Kai Hayes, and then uh, she helped me present to Gigi. So let's make the invitation as simple as possible. We're not going to mention about a company or a product. So some people who are business driven ito ang uh, na formulate ko na pwede niyo i-share no i i got involved in a publicly traded company listed in the nasdaq we are expanding in the philippines and i am looking for only five no key people to pioneer and create a movement i immediately thought about you because i know that you're a visionary and truly gifted that whatever business you get into flourishes. You need to take a look at this business opportunity. Can we get together on Monday at 4 or 5 p.m. for coffee? So this one is I'm asking if she will be free to meet me you know, face to face. And natanong uh, ako, what is it? So my answer was it's 90% visual. You have to see it and hear it the way I did. It will blow your mind. I could get my business partner on standby to answer your questions. She's an expert and very successful in our company. 
All right. So that's how uh, simple the invitation was. Because I wanted her to see no, that we are expanding in the Philippines. This was uh, last year. No? And this, this was the, what I uh, shared with my friend. And she gave me the time. All right. So let's have more samples. Ito, kunyari, text invite. Well, this can be a text invite. This can also be an email. This can even be a voice message no? to send your prospects. Okay, so number one, ito, kunyari, ang pangalan niya, Jen, no? Jen, kunyari, na-meet ko siya somewhere. It was great to bump into you last week. Can we have coffee next week? It would be nice to catch up on family and everything else that's keeping you busy. Will Friday at 4 or 5 p.m. good for you? Well, number two, hey, Angie, my friend. How's life of an, a retiree? Ito naman, retiree, no? Quiet, I'm sure, but knowing you, you're definitely looking for something to do. Want to have some real fun and excitement? So you need to hear this very exciting project I'm currently on. There's a presentation this Saturday, no? At five, on the 5th, the 5th at 10 a.m. at Gina's house. So we have a common friend that's hosting the presentation. We are allowed to bring one guest. Can, can you be my special guest? I'll pick you up at nine, okay? So ito, I will pick her up to make sure that she will be coming, no? She will be there with me. So I was also stressing that I'm only allowed, so it's not my house, no? I'm only allowed to bring one guest so that my friend feels that she is special, right? Because she will be my one guest to bring. So, yung commitment niya, mas malaki kasi isa lang yung idadaling ko, tapos, you know, I will pick her up. This, this is good because you're making sure that, ano, that person is with you. Number three, okay? Lisa, dear, hope you are well. I'm so excited. I know you love to travel. Ito naman, people who like to travel, no? There's a very big project I'm working on right now. And we can travel and see a lot of wonderful places for free, right? For free. You need to take a look at it. Are you free tomorrow so we can talk ab more about it? Can you spare 20 to 30 minutes? Will 8 or 9 p.m. work for you? So you see that I am giving her a time because I know this friend of mine is very busy. So 20 to 30 minutes, right? So in that, in that time, I could already um, know more about her. I can ask all those questions that I need so that later on, kung may follow up ako na invitation no, for her to see a presentation or, or if she has time, because remember our AB's investigative report is only uh, 10 minutes. Right? So I might have the time to share the ABC. It depends on how the conversation goes, right? So I will have an upline on standby. I will never share this without somebody here on the side, right? So, ito, number four. Hello, Anna, my health buff friend. Okay, I have a friend who's into um, the gym, going to the gym all the time, no? I'm currently in your area for a convention. We will be done by 5 p.m. tomorrow and would love to see you. You need to know about this extraordinary breakthrough discovery in the history of medicine. I'm sure you will be amazed. Will you be able to meet me in my hotel at 6 or 6.30 p.m. tomorrow? So I was telling her because I was in the convention, no? in the same state as hers. I, you know, I just texted here. This, sabi ko sa kanya, matatapos yung convention namin ng 5 p.m. bukas. So I gave her time, at least a day, no? So for her to, ang tagal namin hindi nagkita, right? So gusto ko muna magkita kami, tapos mag, um, you know, mag uh, catch up kami. And at the same time, you know, for her to see what I, I was there for, yung convention nga, right? So you see all these texts or these invites all end up with a question mark. Why? Because that's the only way you can get a response from them. So you remember if you're texting or inviting somebody, try to put a question mark at the end. 
Because if it's just a period, no, you are just like stating something. But if it's a question mark, automatically, you know, what we're asking from them is a, an answer to our question. Right? So, now, what, one good invite also is sharing your story, right? So, I would say sharing story can also be your perfect invite. As we share a story to others, then we are able to relay you know, vital information that will absolutely create curiosity at its first. And this is also your pres personal testimonial. So this, you are not sharing your story right away to a person. No, you will connect, you know, go back to Ford, F-O-R-D, right? And after that, after that person has shared his story, that it's time for you to share your story because Absolutely, that person will say, no? Oh, ikaw naman na magkwento. No? Ikaw, kamusta naman ang buhay mo? So now it's your time to share your story. Your story could be triumph of your health, kagaya ko, no? I, I was able to combat um, or go through uh, my uh, CA, no? With the help of our products. And um, you can also so share financial success or time freedom, Right? Pero, of course, kung bago ka, wala ka pang story, right? So, wala ka pang, it's not that wala ka pang story, but you don't have a significant story yet. So, you can always borrow the story of others. Like, you can talk about your upline, you know, kung successful yung upline mo, right? And you can tailor that to the, to the why of why you are sharing this to the person also. Kunyari, may uh, financial um, goal nga yung tao. So talk about the business side of this, right? Doon sa sa story mo. Nako yung yung upline ko, no? She's making uh, in this project that we're doing, no? She's making uh, $200,000 a year. And you know, that's where I want to, you know, if I can only meet half of that like 100,000, no? I would really focus on this business. So, share what you heard from about, about other people no? that shared their opportunity to you. Usually nga yung ating upline, kasi kaya tayo nang sign up, is because we were, you know, we were impressed or we, we like what we heard from our upline, their stories, right? So, ngayon, remember, your invite should be short and sweet, Okay. If it's um if it's of course uh face to face or kaya sa telephone no show your excitement be excited na tapos make them feel that you're passionate about what you're doing tapos make it be of service right it's about them it's not about us remember tapos be mindful of your why of why you are sharing to your prospects so remember also don't mention Life Vantage, don't mention Pro Tandem, don't mention Network Marketing in your invite. So, remember also that we are just connectors, no? Nagko-connect lang tayo. Hindi tayo ang dapat source ng, uh, hindi tayo dapat ang message, right? Hindi rin tayo dapat ang uh, pinaka nagpe-present nung itong ating uh, information. But, Use your upline, you know, to present the information to your prospect. Don't pretend, no? Most of the time, alam naman natin lahat ito eh, di ba? We know our business. We know our products, right? Don't pretend to be an expert. Why? Kasi most of the time, the people that we're sharing it with, especially the warm market, no? They know who you are. Like me, no? I'm not in the medical field, so I want you know, pretend that I'm very knowledgeable about uh, the pinaka science, no, of this, like the peer review studies and all that. But I will get somebody, kunyari, uh, nasa medical field yung gusto kong share, I will get somebody who's in the medical field who can talk to them in their language. Okay? So, ang ginagawa natin, no, after we invite and do the present um, the presentation, we uh, when we connect people, no, we just edify the person that we're uh, introducing or the person that's going to do our presentation. So 
yung, yung job lang natin is to connect our prospect to our presenter, to our upline, and that is also our third-party validator. That's why it's very important to have a good relationship with your upline. If you don't have, you know, an upline, yung iba kasi, you know, hindi na nagtutuloy, get somebody who can help you. You know, the beauty of Life Vantage is even if you're not the direct upline, no, we try to help each other here. So, um, you know, but, at the end, no, at the end of the day, people won't remember what you said or did. You know, they will remember how you made them feel. So that's why for me the most important is connecting to them the right way, asking the right questions, no, giving them importance. So it's not targeting them to sign up, but giving them that opportunity to hear the information and then giving them the, all the information that they need later on to be able to make the right decision, whether they want to take the product or they want to do the business with you. So make it very simple. Because the more that you say, you know, more, more stuff that you say, you're like, you know, opening up a can of uh, worms, right? Because when we say that yung life vantage, Oh, ano ba yung life vantage? Anong ginagawa nun? Yung things like that. Pag sinabi mo naman yung, na-mention mo sa si inv invitation mo na yung pro tandem, marami ka na na-explain. So, hindi na yung invitation mo. It doesn't become an invite anymore. It becomes a presentation. And pag ginawa mo yung during the invitation, matatakot na lahat ng tao. Actually, I went through that, no? I was connecting to somebody and then I was talking to her already about pro tandem. Uy, ang galing nito, you know, it's an activator, hindi to supplement, hindi ito ganon. And that person never got in touch with me anymore. So that person actually evaded me. Kasi ang feeling nga, binibentahan ko lang siya. But you know, you always have to go back to that, you know, because you always have to go back to giving them a chance, no, to connect with you. Build a relationship because... Why? Because once you they they get curious and they become interested with what you're doing, no, ayun na yung relationship nyo hahaba na. So it's important to to start your relationship, uh, your your communication as building a relationship. Because for me, life vantage is just about people with different stories, people creating stories, people. Um, having relationship with, with each other. So dito, we, we work as a team, right? So we support each other. So kaya nga, importante yung may relationship ka sa teammates mo, may relationship ka sa upline mo. Okay, so I think that's about it.